just a quick video explaining the viscosity against temperature calculator from efatraining.com uh, this is designed to give you your viscosity curve and give your temperature figures against the different viscosities it is to replace our old um, curves that we had I'm sure some of you have seen these things where you just plot your different curves on some log log paper and uh, it's all not the clearest so this is a, just a nice way to do this automatically for any fluid um, we have at the top uh, a selection system so we can select a particular fluid we want to look at and that changes all our values um, we've got our temperature scale here so that just shows at what point we're operating uh, within our systems we've set our coolers to uh, you can set in custom fluids if you just change here uh, you can see that that changes Woo, the angles of the graphs. Uh, I'll select it there and it resets it. Different one. Um, but the interesting part are these figures down below because uh, we have our optimum working range. So if you look at the pump data sheets, this is set on standard for an A10 VSO. Um, and we've got our minimum viscosities and maximum viscosities for the optimum working range. So if we were to change these we can see that uh, our green bands change so we need to be working within this range um, for optimum performance uh, you can also type in makes it easier to set it more accurately so you can see our temperature range is between 46 and 68 with a VG46 fluid uh, we also have on the pumps they will also specify an intermittent operating limit so 10 to a thousand centistokes now this is you can run at a thousand at startup uh, and it won't destroy the pump but certainly you can't run for long periods like this it's just purely to start or very short periods at high temperature so uh, you don't want to be in these regions but that's the absolute limit uh, which is often useful so again we can change these and uh, it shows you how the pumps might be a bit lower so it shows you what temperatures you can run to with particular fluids so it's quite a handy tool gives you a nice accurate figure at the end so for um, the geeks amongst you say there's that curve and these are the calculations it's done from a shell calculation uh, a log log calculation that they've published for viscosity um, we get it at 40 or 100 you get your viscosity figure so that's where it comes from and um, hopefully it's a bit more useful to understand it and clarify it just it makes it easier than going through some of those uh, graphs and it's all in our phone app so you can take it with you, you don't have to take your graph paper with you. Okay.